I'm Ayla. Today in National News, the U.S. has created the world's most technology-advanced stealth fast attack submarine. This is to help navigate near enemy waters. The submarine can avoid sonar detection. This is to compete with the technology of Russia and China underseas. These Virginia-class fast attack submarines can launch torpedoes and missiles at other submarines, ships, and target its own land. The USS South Dakota is scheduled to officially enter the fleet in August 2018. Until then, they are hoping to upgrade more strike capacity for the Virginia-class boats for the next generation. Now to Frankie with International News. Well, I'm Frankie, and this week around the world, the Chinese Communist Party has reappointed Xi Jinping as the head of the party and leader of China. The party has voted in a closed-door vote in Beijing's Great Hall of People. Xi Jinping led the new members of the elite Politburo Standing Committee, which is the apex of power in China. This is Xi's second five-year term, and his political thoughts were added to the Communist Party constitution. This puts him on the same power level of Mao Zedong, who is the founder of modern China. He therefore is the most powerful leader in decades. His reappointment came with less restrictions from the party to let Xi accomplish his ambitions of turning China into a global superpower with a world-class military. Now to Brooke with Local. Today in local news, the gas prices have been declining for six straight weeks after Hurricane Harvey had hit oil refineries and pipelines on the Gulf Coast, causing the gas prices to spike up. They were at $2.95 a gallon, and they are now back down to $2.55 a gallon. Now that gas line production shipments and refineries are being restored, we should see the gas prices go down even a little further. Now to Austin with politics. This week in politics, it has been more than 50 years since J President JFK was assassinated. Under the Record Collection Act of 1992, the government is required to release the documents 25 years after the law is passed, and yesterday, October 26, marked the 25 years. President Trump could block some of the documents that, that are scheduled to be released, but there is no confirmation yet that he will do so. Trump has tweeted that he will allow the release to happen. Historians believe that it is unlikely that you will see any files currently contradicting the official theory of Oswald killing Kennedy alone. That's all for politics. Now to Kyle with business. Hi, I'm Kyle, and this week in business, aircraft manufacturer Northrop Grumman has been more successful than expected. This has caused a large jump in stock prices. Prices have raised from as low as $12.10 a share to anywhere between $12.90 and $13 a share. The recent rise in prices has been caused by the increasing demand for the F-35 fighter jets. Northrop, like its peers, is benefiting from the higher demand for weapons, jets, and tanks due to the increasing security concerns around the world. That's all for this week's business. Now to Column of Sports. This week in sports, the World Series has begun as the Houston Astros and Los Angeles Dodgers fight for the 2017 World Series title. Tuesday night was Game 1 and the Dodgers picked up the win 3-1. to one. Wednesday night was the Game 2 and the Astros picked up the win 7-6 to six in 11 innings. As of now, the series is tied 1-1, but the third game is tonight at Minute Maid Park, Houston. And it starts at 8 p.m. on Fox. That's all for this week in sports. Now to Jay with entertainment. This week's news and entertainment involves the rapper Eminem and his lawsuit against New Zealand. New Zealand ran a political ad for the National Party and played Eminem's Lose Yourself instrumental in the background. Eminem's record label filed a copyright claim in 2014 during the New Zealand election. Eminem and his label won the case and was awarded $413,000. That's all for this week's news.